Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to another 100 Jurassic World Jurassic Park in many dinosaurs in the box, okay? And our main highlight of the day is actually this new Indoraptor which I have repainted myself and I call this the Galaxy Indoraptor. So basically, I just um repainted the super poseable Indoraptor into this, which looks so cool. I really love it. You can see the metallic red. We will take a closer look at this later on, okay? I want you guys to let me know what other dinosaurs we should be repainting next. Of course, in this box, we have plenty of new PNSO dinosaurs, and this is one of them. This is actually a um, Spinosaurus, which is known as Asian. It's really beautiful. It is actually a quadrupedal Spinosaurus, which means it is actually walking on all four legs. All right, and please let me know whether you guys want me to repaint the Sucomimers or the Tabosaurus next, okay? Please, this is really important. So I want you guys to vote down below in the comment section. Please let me know if you want me to um, repaint the Sucomimers or the Tabosaurus next, because I really want to repaint uh, both of them but you know which one comes first we shall decide you guys should decide for me okay and this is actually a new okay, not exactly new this is actually a vintage jurassic park a margo spinal i think this is like a hybrid it looks so cool i purchased this from um, um uh, ebay i think it's not really working right now but it's still pretty cool yeah some of the paint is um, wearing off, so you can actually see this is actually a, um, a Magosaurus. Yeah, and probably mixed with Stegosaurus, I'm not too sure. So, yep, let's move on. Have you guys seen my previous video? So, I've basically repainted this Spinosaurus as well. So, I actually named this the Earthquake Spinosaurus. So, I repainted this on my own. So, I wanted to do a comparison. So, which one do you guys like more? the Galaxy Indoraptor or the Earthquake Spinosaurus. And maybe if you think there's a better name for this, please let me know, okay? So Earthquake Spinosaurus, this is actually one of my most favorite repaints. And uh, I want you guys to, I want to let you guys know if we manage to get like 20 to 30 different repainted dinosaurs, we can actually do a um, repainted dinosaur uh, video, okay? So this is actually a um, Sakosukus. Massive Biter Sakosuchus looks really good. We might consider doing repaint of it, you know, in future. Who knows? So this is basically the Indoraptor which I have repainted, okay? So I took this, I got an extra one, and I repainted this into a Galaxy Indoraptor. You can see a lot of um, um, purple spots across the body and a metallic um, red across the entire body. The feet are not completed, but you know, overall, I'm super happy with it. What about you guys? Please let me know down below. I want to show you guys this new T-Rex from PNSO as well. This is actually known as Tyrannosaurus Wilson. So this is like a more bloated um, um, version. It looks really cute. It looks really chubby. It looks like it's a very, very well-fed T-Rex. It looks so cool. And the two fingers on um, each arm looks so amazing. Next up, yep, Sucomimers. So speaking of Sucomimers, we have two different Sucomimers. So if we repaint this into like a level 40 Sucomimers, I think it's gonna look amazing. So this is a dual attack Sucomimers. So I want you guys to please give me some um, ideas on whether I should be repainting a Sucomimers or Taposaurus. And if so, what kind of color scheme should we go for? This is a Seeds Mikorum, which looks amazing as well. You know, maybe further down the road, we might do a repaint of this. So I basically wanted to do a repaint every single week. I think it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna be fun for you guys to watch as well. This is the original Sako Seeker. So if I want to do a repaint, I might just use this. All right, enough of repaints. So let's move on and take a look at this. So this is actually a vintage set. Um, it's actually broken right over here. You can see a Brachiosaurus, which is known as the Arm Lizard and Velociraptor. So all these figures are actually made of metal. So this is actually a very old set. That's fine. What about this? We have Pteranodon and Gallimimers. So Pteranodon is actually known as the Toothless Wing and Gallimimers is known as the Chicken Mimic. You can see some vintage Jurassic Park collectors cut right over here. 
So at the back, you can see some beautiful um, illustrations of other sets you can get. And this is actually Tyrannosaurus and Dimetrodon. So Tyrannosaurus, Dimetrodon is not exactly a um, dinosaur. It is actually a prehistoric cynocyte. And Cynoceratops, yes, we have a new Cynoceratops from Pinasso, and this is one from Mattel. Cynoceratops is actually known as the Chinese horned face, okay? So let's move on. Let's take a look. Right over here, we have another um, Albertosaurus. Yep, that's right. This is Albertosaurus. So this is another Tyrannosaurid, which is very, very amazing. I love this paint work. All right, let's move on. This is actually a Lambiosaurus, so it is actually a hadrosaur, and the name means Lambi lizard. So this is actually a hadrosaur discovered in China. So I think, yes, that's right. So let's move on. Concavenator. Yeah, this is a concavenator. It has a very distinctive and significant hump on its uh, back. So this is a carnivore. So this is actually a, um, yeah, just a, is this a dual attack? Yes, that's right. This is a dual attack um, from Cabinator. So let's move on. What is this? Is this a um, Pachyrhinosaurus? I don't think so. I think this is actually the Macheroceratops. Yeah, I think so. I can't really remember. So there are too many of them. So let's take a look at all these leaflets. So you can have, um, this is a Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh yes, this is actually a Pachyrhinosaurus. So I beg your pardon. All right, let's move on. We have more figures from PNSO, and this is actually a prehistoric whale, Basilosaurus. You guys should have seen this before. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at this. This is a new micro raptor from PNSO. I love the shiny shin. So, this is actually like a prehistoric bird. So, you can actually remove this and piece it right back. It looks amazing. Okay, um, we have some little figures right here. This is a T Rex. Um, Allosaurus right over here, which is a Rorivor. You guys should know this. This is actually known as a different lizard. Of course, we have some Cam Cretaceous figures here as well. This is um, the pretty latest um, Ceratosaurus. Okay, what about this? What is this? Is this a Sauropelta? Yes, this is a Sauropelta from um, um, PNSO. So this is basically an Ankylosaurid which is the same family as Ankylosaurus. Another Styracosaurus, which is um, a Ceratopsian. So yep, that's right. This is a Savage Strike uh, Styracosaurus. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is another new figure. It is a herbivore. This is known as a Charyptosaurus. And the name actually means Helmet Lizard. lizard. So basically this crest right over here, it looks like, you know, the dinosaur is wearing a helmet. So this is why it is known as the Helmet Lizard. Okay, let's move on. More new figures, Dim Dimorphodon, okay, I almost said it, it as um, Dimetrodon. So this is a prehistoric flying reptile. Um, this is one of the latest um, version from Jurassic World. Really nice. Dimorphodon is actually known as a tooth form, tooth. If I remember correctly, all right. For Triceratops from PNSO, okay, the three horn face. This is actually a super huge figure, you know, which is equivalent to you know the actual thing. You know, Triceratops that actually built like a tank. Okay, what is this? Okay, I need the help of um um this little booklet right over here. This is actually known as a Machero Ceratops. Yeah. Um. No, this is not. Um, wait a minute guys, please, you know, because there's too many of them, I can't really remember, so I need to actually take a look. Um, if you guys know, please let me know what figure this is. Oh man, I, I can't remember, so I need the help of you guys, dinosaurs. Alright, what is this? We have a Galley Mimers right over here, so this is actually a new Cam Cretaceous Galley Mimers, which looks super amazing. Um, this is actually one of my um, very old um, Dilophosaurus, so, so it's pretty cool. Once you move the tail, the neck will move and the jaw will snap and the eyes will actually lit up. So it looks really cool. Alright, Cryolophosaurus, we may do a repaint on this as well, maybe sometime. 
Yeah, this is a Quailoposaurus sound strike. Okay, it's really, really beautiful. But I don't, I'm not a really a big fan of this paint scheme. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Velociraptor and Ankylosaurus. And Ankylosaurus is known as the Fused Lizard. This is actually a 2015 figure. So if you move the um, right hind leg, the tail, and the neck will actually move it along. So it looks pretty cool. Okay. Next up, we have a green Velociraptor, which is from 2015. You know, more raptors right over here. Well, of course, we have blue. Is this like Echo, I think? Ankylosaurus from PNSO. Beautiful little figure right over here. Good, like a tank. And do you guys know Ankylosaurus? They are actually named like, you know, Mesozoic tanks. Yeah, I think so. And right over here, we have a beautiful, this is one of my most favorite figures from PNSO. It's actually a Mosasaurus. So you can see the skin texture, it has a very, very shiny surface. So this is basically to resemble um, the scales of sea creatures like you know, dolphins, sharks, and um, fish. So Mosasaurus is actually a prehistoric marine reptile, which is known as the lizard of the Meuse River. So if you guys have watched Jurassic World, you know, more, basically the Mosasaurus was pretty um, scary. It was like, you know, pulsing, not, not really pulsing, just like, you know, it's coming out from the sea, wall, sea and just, you know, eating the shark. It was really, really scary. <laughs> and this is another Mosasaurus from 2015. Okay, so I actually call this the Battle Damage Mosasaurus, but it is actually not named as that, but, you know, this is just a name that I'm, I'm giving it. So right over here, we have an Albertosaurus. This is a beautiful paint scheme, I love this. It's a battle damaged Albertosaurus. So this wound right here, once you tap, tap on it, just spring right open. Okay, more figures inside. We have this, this beautiful shiny Indominus Rex, which we've got recently, okay, in the recent weeks. This is actually from the Camp Cretaceous Mini Dinosaurs set. Okay. Let's get this super colossal. No, the raw was not from the Indominus Rex. This figure right here, the super colossal Indominus Rex, are uh, dust not raw, okay? So, in future, we may be painting this. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, if we were to paint this Indominus Rex, what paint scheme do you think we should go with? If you have some ideas, please drop them down below. I'm gonna switch the box over so that I'll be able to reach um, the rest of the dinosaurs more easily, okay? All right, let's get them out from the box. What is this? This is actually a um, concavenator with a different paint scheme. Do you guys know that what does the name concavenator means? Um, I can't really remember, which is why I'm asking you. Okay, we have a Stegoceratops. This is actually a hybrid dinosaur, not exactly a real dinosaur. It's basically Triceratops mixed with um, Stegosaurus. For the 2015 Dimorphodon here, okay, it's supposed to roar and make screeching sounds, but it's no longer working. And check this out, guys. This is a beautiful Amargosaurus. So, I was actually mentioning, you know, we have a JP Amago Spino. So this is basically you know, a part of it. So a part of it uh, is Amago Saurus. So you can see this is a beautiful sauropod with like spikes along its body. So it's pretty incredible. Amago Saurus is known as the Amagar's Lizard. All right, let's move on. We have blue right over here. Okay, blue, another raptor. We have an Irritator right over here. So the name is actually super weird. So you know the, the, the reason why it is named the Irritator is, was because when paleontologists actually discovered its fossils, they were all in like little pieces here and there. So they were extremely irritated by the fact. Okay, this is a Pachycephalosaurus, the thick skull lizard, a 2015 figure. We have a mini chomping T-Rex green it's from 2015 as well we have a new okay not exactly new this could be new to you guys this is a sauropod which is known as the Uhello lopers yes that's right this is yet another um dinosaur discovered in china 
So basically, PNSO is actually a manufacturer, a um, dinosaur producer from um, China. And they actually like to create a lot of dinosaurs which were discovered in China as well. So this is Tyrannosaurus Wilson. Um, but this is like, you know, the, the slimmer version. This is a slightly chubbier version, but looks so cute. So which one do you guys prefer more? I actually like this version a lot. What about you guys? All right, let's move on. Okay, this one right here. What is the name of this? What is the name of this stegosaurus? Are you guys able to tell me? This is super cool. It is actually not a stegosaurus. It is a, it's known as mirror gayer. It's beautiful. I think it's known as the Northern Earth Goddess or something like that. It's just so beautiful. I love this figure. If you take a look at all this, plates and spines they look so majestic all right let's move on and right over here we have a prehistoric marine reptile known as um ato atopo dentatus atopo dentatus yes that's right and the name actually means unusual tooth because of his jaw right over here and the teeth so this is known as Atopo dentatus. That's right. This is a new, I think this is very new to many of you guys. So once again, Atopo dentatus. Yes, that's right. And the name means unusual tooth. And right over here, we have a beautiful sauropod. And this is known as a Tianzhou saurus. Tianzhou is basically a um, city in China. Yep, that's right. And this is known as the Tianzhou lizard. It is related to an Aleo Ramers, I think. And speaking of Aleo Ramers, we should have one right over here. So this is Aleo Ramers. It is actually a Tyrannosaurid. So, which means that it is actually closely related to a T-Rex. Yeah, but it is very small. I mean, this figure is really small. Let's move on. What is this cute look looking dinosaur? This is actually a baby feathered T-Rex. Um, it looks kind of weird. It looks more like a bird, but you know, they have actually mentioned that birds are actually descendants of dinosaurs. And right over here, we have a Trodon. Yes, that's right. This is a pretty new figure. I just got this recently, okay? We're getting more new figures coming out really soon and this this extreme damage um, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which I, you know, can't wait to get it. This is a Giganotosaurus. So this is actually not known as Giganotosaurus, but Giganotosaurus. The um, giant southern lizard is the name. Um, I mean, it is what the name means. Giant southern lizard. Okay, what is this? Is this a Pinacosaurus? I can't remember. So guys, if I'm actually got all the names wrong please do not blame me okay this is actually a borealo pelta borealo pelta i think the names i can't remember the name of this i think this is known as uh, the northern shield or something i can't remember so i need the help of you guys once again okay we have a raptor right over here this could be charlie i think magentosaurus yes i think this Creature, this dinosaur right here, this theropod will look really good with some repaint. I'm gonna paint all this like, you know, all the spikes with some glowing colors. I think it's gonna look super amazing. Another stegoceratops right over here. Okay, Ceratosaurus. Still working, the sounds are still working. Okay, this is like a savage strike. But this is a 2015 version. Um, T Rex, and what is this? I think this is a Pinacosaurus. All right. I think the Pinacosaurus is known as the Plank Lizard. I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to remember this from my memory. Okay. Let's move the, move the box over. We have an Allosaurus from 2015. Really beautiful one. Another Raptor. And what is this? What is this? I need the help of you guys. Is this Sinoceratops? I think so. This is, should be Sinoceratops. The Chinese haunt face, okay? We have another blue right here. Okay, so basically this moves when you move the tail. 
And what is this? Hmm, I can't remember the name, so I'm actually referring to some booklets. So please give me one second. Please do not move away. I can't find it, guys. So once again, you guys should please name it for me because I have no idea what figure this is. I can't remember, remember, but I can definitely remember what this is, okay? This is actually a Colonel Torres, the meat eating bull. bull. And this is a figure from PNSO as well. It's really, really beautiful and slender because, you know, Colonel Torres, they are really slender and fast theropods. Okay, but you can't say that for a Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus is pretty heavyweight. So this is a spine lizard. You can see this huge neural spine bones right over here. And all these little bumps, they're actually called osteoderms. Osteoderms of, a, of this creature. All right, let's have a look at what is this. Another beautiful stegosaurid. So what stegosaurus is this? Is this like Trajangosaurus? I think so. I could be wrong because I can't re really remember all the names. So this could be Trajangosaurus. And Trajangosaurus is actually known as um, the Tour River Lizard. Yeah, so this was actually discovered in China as well. Okay, this is a sticky log. You guys should know this with a transparent or um, translucent, I would say. Indoraptor. I'll switch the box around. Oh, what is this? What is this? This is actually a young Trinosaurus, I think. A beautiful figure from PNSO. But the legs are actually slightly distorted. But that's fine. Let me reach out to this baby Sinoceratops. Sinoceratops. It looks so cute. Take a look at those adorable eyes. We have yet another Stegosaurus right over here. This could be a Hoyangosaurus or it could be a um, Cantrosaurus. I'm not too sure. With a Pteranodon, this is 100% this is I'm sure of that. <laughs> and this is an Indoraptor, which is one of my you know, favorite um, dinosaurs from the previous Jurassic World movie. With, a, with the Indominus Rex. We have blue right over here. And what is this, guys? What is this? Are you guys able to name this? This is actually Gasosaurus. It looks like a T-Rex, but if you take a look, it has three fingers on each arm, so there's no way it is a T-Rex. So, yep, you know, you guys know should know that T-Rex only has two fingers on each arm. Let me reach out to grab this. This is definitely a T-Rex. This is Tyrannosaurus Wilson. This is the first Tyrannosaurus Wilson. So they came out, they came out with a repaint and they came out with a re-sculpture of it. A re-sculpt of it. And we have another um, Pachycephalosaurus. We have two of them actually. And I'm gonna flip the box slightly over here so that we can reach out to every single one of them. Stegosaurus, okay. You guys should be extremely familiar with this. The roof lizard, okay? It's a stegosaurus. We have more stegosaurus right over here, okay? And this is actually from uh, Jurassic World. It's a cup topper. What about this? T-Rex. Yep, that's right. So, we are just left with a couple of um, figures right over here. All right, so with the Indominus Rex, we have a Velociraptor, another Indominus Rex. So I want you guys to let me know which one you guys prefer, the Indoraptor, Galaxy Indoraptor, or Earth Quick Spinosaurus. Which one do you think it's better? Okay, let me know down below. And of course, I want you guys to vote Tabosaurus next. Or Sukomimers. I'm gonna put my comments down below and um yes please vote if you like you know Sukomimers you want me to um you want me to repaint the Sukomimers next you know just let me know down below okay so all right I'm gonna choose my most favorite figures from this video definitely my most favorite one has to be 
the Galaxy Indoor Raptor right here. So if you take a look at it, I, I think it looks pretty amazing. And my second most favorite has got to be my Earthquake Spinosaurus. All right, so yeah, these two are my most favorite. And the last one I'm gonna pick, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna pick this, the Spinosaurus from PSO, yeah. Yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.